Before singing, he trained as a mime and spent several years working in the theaters of London. On the Broadway stage, Bowie portrays John Merrick, the Elephant Man, a role originated by Philip Anglum in the multiple Tony Award-winning production that is also currently touring the U.S. and Canada. Unlike the recent film based on the same true story, Boy plays the deformed Merrick without the aid of makeup. A mysterious and horrible disease had so hideously disfigured Merrick that he'd spent much of his life wrapped in cloaks and hoods, a bag over his head. The bag was removed only when Merrick found work as a carnival freak. It was at one of these carnival shows in London in 1884 that he was seen by Sir Frederick Treves, played by Donald Donnelly. Treves was a renowned surgeon who admitted Merrick to the London Hospital for study and treatment. You are happy here, are you not, John? Yes, sir. The baths have rid you of your odor, have they not? First chance I've had to pay regular. Lee. <laughs> Three meals a day delivered to your room? Yes, sir. Oh. This is your promised land, is it not? A roof, food, care, protection. Well, is it not? Right, Mr. Treeps. I'll bet you don't know what to call this. No, sir, I don't. You call it home. Never had home before. Well, you have one now. Say it, John. Home. Home? No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, really say it. I have a home. This is my... Come on. I have a home. This is my home. This is my home. I have a home. I have... For as long as I like. That is what home is. That is what is home. If I abide by the rules, I will be happy. Yes, sir. And don't be shy. If I abide by the rules, I will be happy. Very good. Why? Why what? <laughs> Why will you be happy? Because this is my home. No. Why do rules make you happy? I don't know. Of course you do. Oh, no, I don't. Why does anything make you happy? Like what? Like what? Now, now don't get upset. Rules make us happy because they are for our own good. All right. Don't be shy, John. Say it. This is my home. No. About rules making us happy. They make us happy. Because they are for our own good. Excellent. Excellent. Well, now, I must submit a follow-up report on you to the Pathological Society. It would help if you told me what you recall about your early years, John. To fill in gaps. To fill in gaps? Yes. <clears throat> the workhouse where they put me. They beat you there like a drum. Boom. Boom. Scrape the floor. Shine the pan. Boom. Boom. It never ends. Floor's always dirty, you know. Pan's always tarnished. There's nothing you can do about it. You're always beaten anyway. After several months, Sir Frederick, puzzled as to how to treat the disorder, decided that it might ease some of Merrick's suffering if he could spend some time with a woman who would not consider him a horror. But where in the world could one find such a person? According to the play, Sir Frederick turned to a noted actress, someone whose training would allow her to mask her real emotions. In the scene you're about to see, the actress is played by Patricia Elliott, 
The encounter was invented by the playwright, and yet it is so honest and believable that it's become an enduring part of the saga of the Elephant Man. John, this is Mrs. Kendall. She would very much like to make your acquaintance. Good morning, Mr. Merrick. few matters to attend to, if you'll excuse me. I shall return shortly. I had planned to say so many things. I forgot them. You are so beautiful. How charming, Mr. Mary. Well, really. Oh, slowly. Please. That's what I plan to say. That I forgot what I planned to say. Couldn't think of anything else. I was so excited. Real charm is always planned, don't you think? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know why I look like this, Mrs. Kendall. My mother was so beautiful. She was knocked down by an elephant in the circus while she was pregnant. Something must have happened, don't you think? It's... Uh, may well have. It may well have, but sometimes I think my head is so big because it is so full of dreams. Because it is. You know what happens when dreams cannot get out. No. I don't either. Something must... Oh. famous actress. Uh, I am not unknown. <laughs> you must display yourself for a living then, like I did. No. <laughs> uh, that is not myself, Mr. Merrick. That is an illusion. Uh, this, <laughs> this is Myself. This is myself, too. This, too, is himself. The David Bowie of records, of masquerade, of rock and roll. He freely admits that his newest album was inspired by his performance as the Elephant Man. Its title, Scary Monsters. From that album, David Boy sings fashion. <laughs> 